I said, I don't believe you, man. I said, you got to call my mama. He said, huh? Exactly. I said, call my mama, man, because she ain't going to believe this. She got to look it over, yeah. too. So we got on the phone and called my mama. He's like, mama, first thing she said when she was on, my, uh, on the phone, I said, mama, where my goddamn car at? I said, mm. mama, mama, hold on. I don't need no damn. You, you, you grinding for two weeks. I said, mama, hold on. Come on, mama. That's any me. mama. I don't give a damn. Boy, bring my car here right. You ain't here 30 minutes. I'll tell you. Oh, my God. I said, mama, I'm coming. Hold on. I want somebody to speak to you, mama, right quick. His name is Sam. MC who? A who, Faye? I said, mama, hold on. Speak to him, mama. How you doing, Mrs. Gloss? My name ain't Gloss. My last name is Scott. Oh, Miss Scott. Hi, I'm MC Hammer. Okay, mm hmm. Yeah. I want, I want to sign your son to my record label. Is it cool for him to come with me and be on the road? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, go on and do something with him because he in school down there. I don't know what he's going to do, whatever the life on the... It's okay. He said, can you pack his bags and have him back ready? Be back here at 6 o'clock in the morning to go on the road with me? Go on the road with you? What, what, what you doing? And then I guess it started clicking in. Uh -huh. He said, he going on tour with me. I'm going to take him on tour. I'm going to make your son a star. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. You know, I really like, like, I understand, man, that with, through this documentary, I understood you seen and, and, and went through a lot with the whole movement. Mm -hmm. I want to take it all the way back to when you first was singing and, and you know, and MC Hammer and you first linked up for our listeners. Yes. So, like, run us down through there how it was. Just give me the whole story, the whole spiel on how you guys really came to link up. I'm going to go real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I got time. You got go time. ahead. I was... Uh, 18 going on 19. I was playing football. As you look at my football player. Yeah, look good. And uh, I got highly nigga. recruited. What you play? What position? Play linebacker. Ooh, that nigga on the line like yeah. this. Yeah. You don't want to see that nigga, yeah. man. And they're like Singleton, nigga. I was damn near a rover back, so I had to troll that whole field. Yeah. I'm watching everything. So I was in school, had a full scholarship, U UCA, Arkansas, Conway. When I went up there, that was the year that Scotty Pippen was coming out. Got drafted to play with Chicago with uh, Michael, uh, uh, Jordan Michael Jordan for the Bulls. So on the, on the campus, they was like, he the man, he the man, the man. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm highly recruited. Go in, man. Go in the first semester. Coach come to me. Benito called me and I said, hey, hey uh, we're trying to get this tight end out of, out of Texas, man. Big boy out of Texas. And uh, we want to cut your scholarship in half mm. and put you on work study. And um, we come back next season. We'll put it, we'll pull your scholarship back up. I'm like, man, I could have went anywhere. I could have went to Arizona State, the, the Red Devils. I could have went to uh, Notre Dame. Full uh, ride. Yeah, full rise. You know what I'm saying? I could have went to uh, other colleges that wanted me, but I chose to stay at home. You lied to me and my mom, my, my whole family. I dedicated my life to doing this. Man, forget this. I'm gone. You can keep that scholarship. I, I'll go somewhere else to play. So I went back home. It was like two months. The season was about over anyway. And uh, my best friend at the time, uh, Hammer's cousin, Jimmy Burrell, he was like, man, Hammer, my cousin. I'm like, who? Hammer who? You know? He's like, MC Hammer, the one, I said, want to be on the video dancing? He's like, yeah, yeah, that's my best cousin. Hey, nigga, if you don't quit laughing, <laughs> that's your damn cousin. And it's the first time you hearing this. Yeah, yeah, you know, you from you the country. You that nigga was tripping. Yeah, you know, we from, we from Eldorado, Arkansas. So it's like, <laughs> okay. So he goes home, his daddy was a DJ. So he pulled out all, all the album covers and was on the back and said, man, look, it says it to and dedicate to the entire Burrell family. I'm a Burrell. I said, just because your name Burrell don't mean you his cousin. <laughs> I know that's right. right. Man, you lying. Anyway, he had a number on there. He called a number and got the office in, in uh, Oakland called Busted Records mm -hmm. and talked to, uh, one day he got the phone call and it was Hammer's brother, Chris, Chris Burrell. He's talking to him. He's telling him who he was. and He said, man, we might be cousins. Where you from? He said, yeah, my people, everything, is my people from down in Bastrop, Louisiana. Cause that's where Hammond them from. Mm -hmm. Hammond's mom and dad. So he's like, yeah, we might be cousins. He said, well, I tell you what. He said, man, we want to be down. I want to be down with, with Hammer. This is my partner, Jimmy. He said, well, tell, I tell you what. Do a demo tape or something. We coming to Grandma State University for a homecoming. Y'all come on down and bring your tape, man. I'm, I'm going to lead you to my brother and see what he think about y'all or whatever. So at that time, I was going to go <laughs> back to school to Grandma and be walk on. Because Grandma was real. That's when Eddie Robson, man. He was real funny style. He didn't like, you know what I'm saying? If you went from Texas or or California, or Chicago. He really didn't like Arkansas players or oh, whatever. Okay. He was very biased. Wow. I'm gonna tell the truth, he was very biased. So I was gonna walk on as a linebacker down there with Grambling. So I'm going to school, do my thing, and then homecoming came up. Homecoming go, 
Just like he said, we got dressed up. We had our, we had our little hammer outfits made up. His mama, my friend Jimmy, mama could sew. Mm-hmm. So she made us some diaper pants and the, the matching tops. Boy, we was, out, we was shining, boy. So we sitting in the student center in Gramlin, and them damn two buses came through. <sighs> we looked at that and said, there they go. Right? So the buses stopped right in front of the, the, the lunch hall. They get off. <coughs> First one we see is uh, Hammer's brother, Chris. So me and Jimmy walk over there. Jimmy like, hey, man, you know Chris Burrell? He said, I'm Chris Burrell. He said, for real? Hey, what's up, cuz? He kicked it or whatever. He like, man, where Hammer at? He said, on the bus. He said, can we go on the bus with you? He said, yeah. We stepped him on the bus. Sitting there, Hammerson back in the corner, eating some popcorn. I'm saying, just chilling. What is it? What's up? He said, it's your cousin right here, man. It's cousin Jimmy, whatever. This is his partner right here. He said, yeah, because we got a group called MC Burrell and Benito. He like, oh, yeah? He said, yeah, he said, yeah, we got demo tape. We had the little cassette tape. Hell yeah, that Maxwell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pass with the Maxwell. Was it, was it, was it, so y'all recorded on that thing? Three songs. We did y'all three did songs. That thing. Play, on play. a little four track record at this little white dude studio back in our hometown. Yeah, he didn't know what he was doing. We did use some old records and he was rapping over and I was singing the hooks. And Hammer's sitting there like, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. He said, check this out. He said, I got an audition tonight around about, uh, after the show was over, he said, y'all come back to uh, Monroe to the Holodome. That's where we have my auditions at. And we're like, okay. I'm thinking to myself, I'm already in my mama's car, so I'm like, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to go to that. But anyway, he said, y- y'all got tickets to go to the show? We're like, no. Nah. He said, okay, well, yeah, y'all go to the show tonight. We just put you down front or whatever. Did the show. The thing was over. They left, went to Monroe. My partner like, man, we got a one in life chance, man. Let's go to Monroe, check it out, see what we can do. I said, all right, man, I hope I don't get in trouble. So we drove on over. Did have, it had about eight, nine people auditioning for Hammer. I was the last one. Mm. And I was scared as all I do is. Because I ain't never done nothing like it before. I sung in talent shows and, you know, bullshit and whatever. You know, the simple stuff. So, like, this is the big league. This is MCM. We said, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Then you feel it. You know all that is. Oh, yeah. doo, doo, doo. I'm like, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They put me in the mix. They put me in the mix. I am. They put me in the mix. We get in there, man. He said, okay, Benito, your, t- your, t- your turn. Go ahead. I froze. I'm like, mm-hmm. damn. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? I just broke out. Even though I hate to leave, girl, for I cried as I walked out that door. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. They said, Wait a minute, hold on. Hammer said, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait a minute. He said, hold on a minute, he went to the house phone. Teddy, 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 what you doing? It was Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. The guy, uh, Heavy D, Kumo D, MC Hammer, 357, Ace Juice, and somebody else. They was all on the tour thing together. Teddy, come down, I want you to hear something right quick, homie. You ain't gonna believe it. Come down here right quick. And mm. tell Aaron to come down too. Aaron's in the room with a girl, so. Of course. He, Aaron didn't come down. <laughs> so Teddy came down, and I did it again. And uh, Teddy stopped me. He said, stop right there. He said, Hammer, if you don't sign this kid, yo, I'm signing him in the new Jack Swing. Hammer said, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. Hey, Benny Joe, Benny Joe, welcome to Busted Records, baby. I said, huh? Welcome to Busted Records. Shoot my hand and everything. I said, Busted Records, what's that? This is my record label. We're going to make records, baby. Teddy like, oh, man. Okay, cool. He said, yeah. I said, I'm signing your label? I said, I don't believe you, man. I said, you got to call my mama. He said, huh? Exactly. I said, call my mama, man, because she ain't going to believe this. She got to look it over, yeah. too. So we got on the phone and called my mama. He's like, mama, first thing she said when she was on, my, uh, on the phone, I said, mama, what my goddamn car at? I said, mm-hmm. mama, mama, hold on. I don't need no damn. You, you, you grinding for two weeks. I said, mama, hold on. Come on, mama. That's any mama. It. I don't give a damn. Boy, bring my car here right. You ain't here 30 minutes. I'll tell you. Oh, my God. I said, mama, I'm coming. Hold on. I want somebody to speak to you, mama, right quick. His name is Sam. MC who? A who, Faye? I said, mama, hold on. Speak to him, mama. How you doing, Mrs. Gloss? My name ain't Gloss. My last name is Scott. Oh, I'm Miss Scott. Hi, I'm MC Hammer. Okay, mm hmm. Yeah. I want, I want to sign your son to my record label. Is it cool for him to come with me and be on the road? Uh, yeah, 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 get, get, go on and do something with him because he in school down there, I don't know what he's going to do, whatever the life on the... It's okay, he said, can you pack his bags and have him back ready? Be back here at 6 o'clock in the morning to go on the road with me? Go on the road with you? What, what, what you doing? And then I guess it started clicking in. Uh-huh. He said, he going on tour with me, I'm going to take him on tour. I'm going to make your son a star. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I have, get, just get my car home. I'll bring him back. So, Hammer's best friend, Craig Brooks, stepped in. God rest his soul in peace. He died last year wow. of COVID. Mm. Um, 
Craig was like, no, no, man. that was Hammer's right hand man. That was his uh, road manager. He said, no, 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 bro, we got no room in the bus, man. We can't take him on the road with us right now. Mm. <clears throat> he like, man, what? So I'm like instantly deflated. Right. Oh, it's over. It ain't nothing gonna happen. So you're like, cool. And everything happened, man, like, I guess God's plan. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.